Hello everyone, welcome. Situation in Ukraine. Deep dive on the war. When the war will end. How the war will end. And what we need to know right now, what is not visible from outside the world or inside. Because Tarot shows uh, the secrets. Show what is not visible. Let us um, look deep dive on war. I will use uh, this deck and on the bottom of the deck uh, we have six of swords. Indeed, not everything is on the surface, not everything is visible and it takes um, a lot of effort to finish the war because six of um, Swords is a card of escaping, escaping of difficulties, repelling the enemies. As um, we know needed to be done, but how? This is a big and difficult question. Let's just look. Look what uh, higher power universe has to say about it. So a deep dive on the war. Yes. Um, uh, my first question would be if you allow me a vis visit of uh, Scholz, Macron, Draghi, and Prime Minister of Romania, Romania to Kiev, and they visited Irpin, and they had press conference, and I had a prediction in Ukrainian two days ago. And exactly as I predicted, it happened. They um, they behaved very nice. Their speeches were very nice, supportive to Ukraine, and they pledged their full support, as I predicted. Because many media predicted that they will twist Ukrainians armed for, you know, peace uh, in this situation with losing territory. It didn't happen. So my prediction was correct. Uh, what Taro has to say about it, maybe some more information. Yes, it's, it is the lover, the lovers. The lovers is card of this pledge. The lovers is card of new cycle, new help, a new covenant, because it's about covenant, the lovers. It's about covenant between Ukraine and between all the allies, all the partners who, who support Ukraine. And we know that uh, in third summit of supporters in uh, Brussels, um, 62 countries already signed up to give um, all sorts of support, financial, uh, defense support, and also moral support, which is also important. So this lovers, it's true. It's true. Now we gain more support, more support from all the world. And this is excellent. It, it does help. Because as you know, um, the forces are not equal. So we need that support. And it is given to us. It's good. Who don't know me, I am from Canada, but I'm Ukrainian Canadian. And I maybe um, feel for Ukraine more than, more than, a little more than. Uh, let's see when the war will end. And then next question, how the war will end. But first question, question is when the war will end. Uh, strength. It's a good card. It actually shows more how the war will end. Because um, this is card of um, strength, of, of um, you know, um, Ukrainian army is going to be stronger and stronger, all, all the time stronger, and um, when the war will end, the card is number 11. It's, it is number 11. Uh, originally this card in tarot was number 8 before, um, so it changed to 11. So when, when card 11 major arcana comes up, I consider number 8 and 11. So maybe 8 
from 8 to 11 months the war will for sure end and again we have second war the first war that uh, uh, our enemy inflicted on uh, Ukraine was on 24th of February uh, started actually it was a second war the first war started uh, eight years ago um, but on 24th of uh, February it was a war that they wanted to take Kiev that war was lost they lose they lost this war and now it's a second war from from uh, four months ago right and this second war um, is uh, going to last a bit longer so maybe from eight to eleven months this is what Tarot says and the, the card strength said that um, for sure uh, Ukraine will repel um, the enemy magician yes how the war will end and the card ma magician shows very clear that um, Ukrainian forces uh, that defend their motherland are, are going to win because uh, this is the card of winning it is a magician Ukrainian forces who defend their land and their people and democracy in their land and you know it's 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 a righteousness it's a war of righteousness <laughs> how else you can see it it's, it's the war of righteousness so they will win the magician shows that they will win the war what else do we need to know maybe it's an open question now maybe you who who came to watch this video I I'm glad you did maybe you're relaxing right now and uh, thinking of the world because you're right I mean we cannot live uh, separate ourselves from the world right so let's see uh, what else do you need to know nine of Pentacles maybe all of us are worried now about recession about um, prices rising and it's not only because of the war and it's not only because of pandemia it is also because time times of recessions they, they are natural as well as you know after recession we are going to get richer <laughs> because nine of um, pentacles talks about you a person who came now to watch my video it talks about you and this card says that you're going to get richer even you're going to be well you're going to be prosperous uh, happy joyful rich it's it's a very good card of self-made people <laughs> and actually if we are self-made it's it, it belongs to us a joy of doing something good uh, offering it to people and people pay us good money I mean it's wonderful so you're going to to get uh, to get what you want maybe this card talks about you getting um, going to possession some land maybe um, real estate because you know the golden road to prosperity parity and uh, you know life uh, where you have everything in place <laughs> you have enough of uh, goodness your life is going to be very nice and and good uh, so do not worry about recession most my listeners are from all around the world uh, but, uh, whoever found this video don't worry about a recession because I mean someone is a uh, definitely scares us with this it's a natural recession it's like people sometimes we feel low energy sometimes we feel high energy so recession it's a low energy is that is needed to gain high energy at the end Oi, you see this card was uh, on the bottom of the deck uh, the nine of um, sword first of all this card tells about uh, true and clear and very prophetic prophetic um, spread that you're getting here because when card repeats especially card um, that was on the bottom of the deck it said that yes it is a true and very clear and very um, prophetic spread it's not because of me it's because because of you you're watching you're helping me to read cards of course because you ask your questions and so cards answer uh, you will say oh what I'm, I'm watching maybe two months from today uh, no uh, 
in cosmic cosmic power there is no time <laughs> everything happening here and now so the eight of swords uh, talks about you watching this spread and um, you are going to gain a lot of um, insights from life you're going to get uh, to safe place because it's a haven it's safe ha haven six of uh, swords is getting rid of the enemy inside of us unfortunately almost every person on earth maybe dalai lama doesn't have it but all of us have our inner enemy who is sabotaging <laughs> healthy lifestyle so we are going to escape um, get rid of inner enemy and uh, hopefully from outer enemy as well so the world the world will be better off with new rules after the war with new rules so in any no bullies could um, influence or threaten us anymore uh, the, the rules will be new and that's very good so this is a spread because if card repeats especially the one that started the spread it means that the spread said everything it needed to be said and um, yes uh, it's a happy spread very happy cards came out uh, telling you uh, about your prosperous and happy life do not be afraid of recession the war will end and we will get better renewed a more stable world after the war because now we learned a lot from from this people always learn from hardship and improve their life this is what will happen next love you very much and um, subscribe because this is all for you and for your happiness for your relaxation uh, see you soon take good care of yourself and bye for now so the second spread um, i'm going to make several spreads here are going to be um, important message for from your guides from your spirit guides pick a card important message from your spirit guides whoever came to visit i appreciate it i hope you have good time visiting with me here in vancouver so important message from your spirit guide uh, what uh, sp uh, what cards I should take for this? Uh, maybe I should take Lenormand cards for that. So I will greet everyone because it's a second spread and we'll start again. Hi everyone, here is important message from your spirit guide. Pick a card. So pick a card from one side of, us, of the screen or another side of the screen. But I suggest you watch entire video. It's not going to be long. It will definitely, for sure, answer your questions about your spirit guide. Lenormand deck is historical and very, very good. Uh, so um, on the bottom of the deck uh, was a card that is called fish, fish talking about you getting money getting paid well paid getting good purchases or good sales um, it's a card of love uh, fulfillment of your dreams a card of uh, good life and support from your environment from from people around you because fish swims in supportive of course uh, seawater seawater has everything fish needs <laughs> fish doesn't need even to eat so this card metaphorically talks about your life that you're going to be supported from people around you from nature from your country so you're going to have nice supported life okay this is the beginning of the spread it was on the bottom of the deck and now i will ask tara important message from your spirit guide look this card turned on its own and this card is called the heart <laughs> beautiful card the heart so the the heart is an important message from your spirit guide this is choice number one you will have two choices at the mo in the moment but right now let's talk a little bit about this card so what is heart when we love someone we draw the heart right so uh, it is about love about being happy being satisfied to your heart content <laughs> 
this is true. This is card of happiness, of uh, trust, of uh, good relationship, of uh, balance between everything, good health, everything good. So the heart is a card of happiness, and this is what awaits you in future. Complete happiness. This is choice number one. Let's see into choice number two. Spirit uh, guide um, comes to you right now, to the place where you you are right now, with a, with a message. With a message. Choice number two. Oh, the rats. Well, don't be afraid. First of all, um, this is historical deck, as I said. It's Lenormand. It's a French historical deck, and it has like imagery, historical imagery. So, what met metaphorically rats represent? They represent losses, but <laughs> rats um, often eat whatever is spoiled. <laughs> Let's say we have something that is spoiled in our life, that doesn't work for us anymore, that is time to throw away or get rid of, or there's something in your life that doesn't serve you anymore. It could be people, could, could be situation, could be thoughts, could be ideas. These ideas don't serve you anymore. So it's time to get rid, <laughs> get rid of uh, negative influences. My spreads are magical. They always defend you from uh, influences, from bad influences. So this card tells uh, about you um, having now something in your life uh, that you want to get rid of. <laughs> Maybe it is added kilograms on your body um, because um, this is not good for your health. So you want to get slimmer, healthier, slimmer. Yes, you will get it. You will get a lean uh, body, a healthy, lean, a sound body. Maybe there is a job in your life that doesn't serve you anymore. This job is um, creating problems. This job might um, you don't like or you lose energy. Whenever you go to your work, uh, you, you feel drained. You feel drained of energy. This is a clear indication this is time for you to change a job or to change profession altogether. And yes, higher power will support you in this. You will definitely find new job, new profession. The, the rats in this case are constructive. They um, push you a little bit, pushing you a little bit to see what you ignore in your life, what you seem to block. You don't want to see it because you don't know how to solve this problem. So you, you um, instead of um, dealing with it, you postpone it. Sort of procrastination. When you postpone something because you don't know how to solve it. You don't know how to solve situation at work. You don't know how to <laughs> start to like the, the work that is not, not very, you're not ha very happy in, in this um, this team, maybe this company or something else. You might not be happy with money you're getting. You might not be happy with um, people there because maybe they're using you. They're not very nice to you or, or such. So the rats will push you out of this work. And sometimes people who push you out of the work, you think they're your enemy, but sometimes they are like rats uh, pushing you out so you may find more favorable position for yourself. Sometimes the, rat, uh, the rats could talk about um, something in your clutter in your house or in your apartment that you have to clean. Because if we get rid of clutter and we know where is everything in our house, we also get rid of clutter in our mind, <laughs> organize our mind, and um, it helps us to be in control of our life. So the rats, as I said just right now, and gave you a proof that the rats are not always bad card. It's um, sometimes a very, very good card. It all depends on your question. What was your question? The answer is the rats will help you get rid of something that is not working for you anymore. So you, you can concentrate on something that, that works. That's something that um, helps you to your heart content. There could be a relationship 
that is not working or, or friends that, that drain you or relatives. So you will concentrate on something that is loving, supporting and life giving. So if you concentrate on something that is life giving, you um, get ahead with your life plans. This is a very good spread then. So my dearest, I suggest and I, that you pick both cards because both cards are needed. To gain something, you need to make place available. And to make place available uh, means uh, to clear something from your life that is um, stale, that, that is um, not working anymore. That is probably um, your old habits, could be your old habits. You know, any old habits, uh, uh, they are addictive get new habits um, they say you need a month every day do something so you develop a healthy habit instead of just getting rid of uh, old bad habit maybe because it doesn't work this way maybe you will be better off to replace old not productive negative habit to new good and healthy habit the rest could talk about um, people, negative people and their influences. In order not to be influenced by some bad people, uh, we uh, have to deny them access to our life. Simple as that. Just deny those people access to your secrets, to your life, to your, to your time. And that will dissipate <laughs> this time. So this is such a spread uh, about uh, what your spirits guide, spirit guides tell you. Um, in my opinion, was a very productive message. Tell me in comments how was it for you? How does this help you? How it clears the way to better and healthier and and joyful life? So the Norman cards always help. You know, I am um, the normal collector, I am a reader, I love it, so come back for more, take good care of yourself, and bye for now. So I see that more people came uh, for a stream. Uh, I take Taro, and let us um, continue with the stream. Let's pick up uh, some more uh, questions. So pick a card message from your higher power, from higher power. How about that? Will it work? Yes? Let's uh, make spread um, like that. Pick a card message from higher power. Yeah, it's going to be short. Hi everyone and welcome. Tarot cards will answer your question. Pick a card, message from higher power. What is higher power? It is power that around us. It is invisible world. And now we are moving towards new dimension where invisible world will become visible. It is already becoming visible. So this higher power all around you. I invite you, if you wish, uh, while you relax, ask question to higher power what is message to you from higher power pick a card one or two i will pick two cards one or two and this will be clear message from higher power directly to you if we need more cards i'll select more cards okay card number one page of cups new meeting of love and uh, let's uh, pick card number two. Message from higher power. The sun. Wow, the sun. What a wonderful message. Two messages, my dearest. Two messages to you from higher power. And both messages are excellent. Both messages are about love. Page of uh, Cups. This card has a person in there. So the person is you or a, the person is someone else who's looking for 
meeting with you. Maybe someone will invite you for a date or will give you a gift, will give you a gift of their presence, of their attention or something valuable, material. It is a person for partnership, for friendship, for love, for trust. <laughs> this is a person whom you, you can truly trust. Searching, someone searching to see you, to give you gift of their time, gift of their love. Wonderful message. The second message, if you picked card number two, the sun. The sun means success. So whatever your question was, my answer is success. Yes, you will get it what you want. You will get it for sure. 100% because the sun is the best card in the deck the best it talks about you you see this is you because wherever you're watching the spread and have a question these people become you for time you watch so you can get clear answer you can get so-called tarot therapy it's true i'm i know what i'm saying so the, this the sun talks about you getting ahead with your plans and what area in your life is enlightened what area is you in your life needed attention right now what area needs attention so could be work could be health could be family life love life personal life anything and the answer is yes, you will get it. You will get what you're looking for because the sun represents you being successful. Clear the way to success and happiness. Get more vital. Sun is vitality. Sun is levitation. Good mood, optimism, happiness, good ideas, how to get what you want good finances sun answers so to any question yes so look at this what an excellent spread promises you that higher power is interested in you higher power want you to be happy higher power is supporting you right now even if you don't know about it maybe you didn't know it before you uh, clicked to watch this video but now you know that higher power is interested in you the, the higher power want you to be successful because you are their priority excellent spread here you go my dearest you know in my, on my channel I have lots of spreads like that and any other topics or signs of zodiac subscribe um, choose any video i i'm on youtube long, from long time for a long long time so with lots of videos on this channel take good care of yourself and bye for now so my dears who came for uh, this is like such a variety <laughs> open house today so i'm making spreads for different teams and whoever came i i uh, invite you i'm happy that you came while i'm making spreads what are your dreams try to tell you what are your dreams trying to tell you why not let's just look uh, into your dreams what your dreams are trying to tell you how about that would you like spread like that it's going to be short and crisp hi everyone and welcome what your dreams are trying to tell you lenormand deck it's this is historical deck from paris france and um, it it usually answers clear and crisp if you have dreams or you don't have dreams subdued dreams what your dreams are trying to tell you pick a card i will make two variety pick card number one or or card number two and you will get clear answer what your dreams are trying to tell you okay card number one the anchor 
the anchor. Your dreams are trying to tell you that you're going to get stable job, stable work. Excellent. Who doesn't want stable work? Everyone. So we don't have to look for another job. We don't have to worry um, about losing the job or we, we don't have to, to worry about unstable job. The anchor is significator of, of work, career. So you're going to get very good, brilliant, <laughs> because it's anchor, brilliant career. You will get stable job. And maybe right now you, you're changing the job, so you're moving countries even to get better job. So your job is going to be stable and very, very good. Um, anchor also stability of mental, uh, mental um, health about emo emotions, stable emotions, because when emotions are too hot, it's not healthy. Stable, cool emotions are good to make right decisions. And this is what anchor means. Also, we've got here um, a number 35. 35 is a number that um, together three plus five gives me eight. So eight is number of infinity. <laughs> uh, stability indeed so you are getting stable life stable and happy life maybe it's about partnership if your question was about partner it's a stable partner you're getting right now this partner will be for life and uh, well you will understand each other and your partnership will be trusted so you will trust each other because anchor is all about trusting trusting to each other. Excellent, right? So let's um, make second variety. Um, so um, what your dreams are trying to tell you. And this could be the subconscious dream. Sometimes we don't dream. When we don't dream, it's good. It means that we have a sound sleep. But while we don't know that we are dreaming, we are still dreaming sometimes, you know, we just don't remember the dream. So the anchor tells me that it is a stable, very secure job, secure finances, yes, secure vitality and health, and good stable life. So second variety, my dearest, the dog. Oh, what a beautiful spread. I'm so happy because this deck has, you know, some cards are really troublesome. Sometimes we need to protect ourselves when troublesome card comes up. But this is a doggy, the doggy. What dog means in met metaphoric world, the world of icons and symbolic world, because our subconsciousness, higher power, uh, and all of that don't understand any language. Uh, only the language of symbols, the language of metaphor. Very important. <laughs> this is why um, you and me uh, can read the dog. What does the dog mean to you? On emotional, mental level. The dog means to me and to the Norman deck, trust, trust, devotion, love, unconditional love, no matter what. Someone loves you unconditional, optimism, good vibes, good energy. Someone in your life uh, will be or is already who loves you unconditional. And this card also reminds you to love yourself, to trust yourself, to trust your choices, to trust your goals, your dreams. So the dog says about your dreams that your dreams are trying to tell you that you are loved, you will be loved. There is a person in your life that you can trust to, the person that uh, is um, trustworthy, the person that is devoted to you. And if not a person, if you know you don't need a person like that, if you already have a person like that, life circumstances. 
life circumstances are going to be favorable, happy, optimistic, joyful, prosperous. And um, you can rely that higher power will bring you only goodness. <laughs> what else I can say? This is such a beautiful spread. So both cards, you, you may pick both, you know. Both cards are telling you that you will get a very stable and loving relationship, stable and happy life. And this is what your dreams are trying to tell you. Even if you don't remember the dream, so the, the Tarot knows your dreams. Because the Tarot is always telling you what is not visible to you. So this message of love, stability and prosperity is good for you. Here you go, my dearest. Very happy spread. I hope you, you can relax during my spreads, have uh, some insights. I'm happy to serve you. I'm honored that you came. I'm honored to be your friend. Come for more. Let's be friends, subscribe, take care of yourself, and bye for now. So, my dearest, so my dearest, uh, 15 people came. I don't know why, um, <laughs> why uh, my English videos are shown only people who do not speak English. I don't know. Uh, YouTube uh, algorithm must be improved. <laughs> it's probably not very good algorithm. Well, because my uh, my English speaking videos are go go going over. <laughs> what can I do? I'm just doing my job, doing my work, do, do what I have to do. And future will show. So 14 people watching, thank you for you 14 people who are watching. You are treasure, you are important, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Let's make another spread before we maybe end. Message from your future self, how about that? Will you be okay with that? Message from your future self on Keeper Cards. Sounds like a plan, right? So let's begin. Thank you for coming. It's a real pleasure for me to, to have you uh, visiting my home in Vancouver, Canada. Hi everyone and welcome. Message from your higher self on beloved Kipper cards. So let's see um, what higher power has to say. On the bottom of the deck was a card called um, main male, a person. A person who came to see the spread. So this is a very good um, bottom of the card, saying that you came because you're going to get some revelations here. You came because higher power wants to give you some advice to help you with something. Message from your higher self. Let's see message from your higher self. Pick a card. I will take two cards. You're welcome to pick one or two. Oops. But uh, watch the entire video, it's going to be only a couple of minutes. Message from your higher self. Sudden wells. What an expected message from your higher self. Sudden wealth. Suddenly you are going to get very wealthy. Sometimes we don't believe in those things. And this is why people don't get sudden wealth, because they don't believe in such things. Do believe, do trust universe, because you're going to suddenly get very, very prosperous. Sudden, suddenly you're going to get wealthy. Something what you are making, what you are doing is going to be very popular. <laughs> and you're going to get wealthy. Wealthy in money, wealthy in friendship, wealthy in love, wealthy in life. So wealthy life is not just money, right? Wealthy life is pleasures of life. Sometimes pleasures of life are free, like breathing good air, being in good health, walking in the woods, having some simple and hardy nice food, 
talking to a friend like I'm doing right now, it's all wealth of life and it doesn't cost anything. However, this message is different. Ah, yes, you will get all of that. But on top, you will get lots of money, lots of um, finances, and these finances will be sudden, unexpected. You have to believe in order to get it, first um, thing to do, believe that you will be suddenly very, very wealthy. And this is message from your higher self, because higher self is watching you and higher self seeing that you don't believe in yourself. The higher self saying, the higher self was watching you and found that most of the time you don't believe in yourself. This is why higher self decided through my video give you this wonderful message. Trust and believe in yourself. So that, that was variety number one. Pick a card, variety number two. Message from your higher self. Little child. So in uh, this Kipper deck, German deck, also period, it's a historical deck, beautiful. Uh, the, uh, um, the child or a little child, uh, card number 18. First of all, 18 is um, one plus eight means nine. Nine is a number in numerology that talks about fullness, fulfillment. You have everything you need. And a child needs something new, something completely unknown, something completely new. You will get something new in your life, something that you don't expect. The higher power will give you something that you don't expect. Fresh start in the relationship. Fresh money. Something new. And now I invite you, if you don't mind, to think about your life. Maybe relax, not, not too hard, a little bit. Think about your life and ask yourself, what do you want? What the higher self wants to tell you right now? The higher self is in a you who knows better what is good for you. But this voice is very difficult to hear because it's a very tiny voice, very tiny whisper inside your heart. And quite often we have to get very still. Some <laughs> Buddhist monks spend life to hear this voice and some of them don't even hear it anyhow because it's very difficult. This is why I use cards, because cards tell you right away what you need to know without spending life in seated meditation. Well, it's good to have seated meditation. I'm not against it, but I'm saying why not, this to, why not to use this tool that also can be helpful and very spiritual. So the higher self is telling you right now fresh start start afresh if you see your partner today don't look at your partner with the eyes of yesterday it doesn't matter you um, had argument yesterday or you were loving each other yesterday it doesn't matter good or bad try not to see your partner with your eyes of yesterday see your partner as first time in your life and you will have more fun <laughs> more adventure if you see not only a partner but yourself and the whole world like first time it's like children see wow what a tree wow what a house because i'm outside i see houses on my street <laughs> look around and you will find happiness start afresh make sure that you start afresh every day it's it is maybe new job for some of you it is maybe new um, people, new circumstances that are favorable because before was a card that says money. Money is joy. It's not only money. It's also joy, decision making. Money is solving this, solving problems. Money is finding way out because a lot of things we can solve with money. Not everything, but a lot. <laughs> so. It's new job, new money, 
new wealth, new comfortable life, new idea, new you, <laughs> new slim figure because you improved your lifestyle. And happiness depends only on your set mind of set. How could you say it? Set of mind? No, something like that. You know what I mean. Someone made a very rude comment yesterday in my English speaking video. Uh, you know, yeah, I speak other languages, like I speak um, Russian, Ukrainian, Polish, German. Um, I live in Canada more than 30 years, but someone wrote me very, very rude <laughs> comment saying in Russian. They often do, <laughs> you know. So the comment is such. What a shame! You live in Canada so long and you speak very poorly, but I, I, I made a soft translation, it was pretty rude. So I was thinking about this comment. Uh, of course, um, you know, I don't take it personally, someone doesn't know how to behave. But on the other hand, how does it speak to me? Because we are talking with you, right? So, money and new. So, what do I take from here? Do I take it at, as offense? Or I'm saying, well, maybe someone is envying me because someone cannot speak at all. Right? So someone is saying about you something personal. It's very rude comment. Don't take it personal. Think about that person that they may be having hard life, difficult life, and they envy you. This is why they want to hurt you take a new approach to everything good or bad and maybe some bad comments like that will help you to understand that yes this is why we have wars in, on earth because some people don't respect others right and it is real wealth if we have people who support you and trust you and have faith in you but the spread tells me have a new approach to self support yourself because no one else can support you as good as you support yourself right so maybe this is a message of your higher self and maybe it's 100 percent possible that this spread you read totally different that when you're watching some inner voice tells you your own message from your higher self through these cards write me a comment i want to hear it because i'm your support team i'm here to give you support i'm here to give you help to give you time of relaxation and read your future so my dearest wish you happiness take good care of yourself see you soon and bye for now